Hello and welcome. I was asked to do a uh, animated lower third effect using keyframes in Shotcut after I made uh, an announcement of Shotcut having keyframes, which is awesome. This is talking about the text effect filter. All right, so let's get to it. So here we have Shotcut. Let's enable the playlist and the timeline. There it is. Drag it to the timeline. And now what we're going to do is uh, try to add some text. And we're not going to do this by adding the text filter on top of this. Where are the filters? Here are the filters because uh, then how would we animate them? Text is over here. It's in my favorites. Uh, yeah, subscribe to Tux Designer, of course. Of course. A horse. All right, we can extend this. Anyway, so we're not going to worry about the font size for now. Instead, we want to animate it. All right, so now the question is, how do we uh, move this around? And the solution is to not use text on directly on the video. Instead, we're going to add a video track. We're going to go to the playlist, we're going to go to file, open other. And here we're going to create a color. And uh, for this, we're going to go for whatever and oh, yeah, set this to zero. All for channel zero. So we get something with zero zero at the front. Okay, it appears here, we can drag it in here, we can drag it to a timeline. It's way too long. Let's just cut it over here. I'm gonna get rid of that. Zoom in, move it to the left. Cut it again. And cut it again and remove this part. With a delete key? Okay. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add the text filter to one of these clips. And here it is. Uh, filters, plus sign. If it's, if it's not in your favorites, you will have to go over here to, tech, to the video filters and press text. And uh, remember to sub horse loves you. Uh, it makes a lot of sense what I'm writing, of course. Let's maybe outline by 11. I'm gonna try the font, but I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't like the font. Whatever. We're gonna take it as it is. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a uh, filter which allows keyframing, and that would be season position, season position. So we're adding this filter, and we're enabling the keyframes panel. This appears down here. We're gonna just drag it and leave it out here so we can see both the timeline and the keyframes at the same time. And basically, we're just gonna drag these uh, little dots, and it, already it will work. Let's just move everything a bit to away from the beginning so we can start playing back before the, all this. And play back. It comes in. Quite laggy. Not as good as it could be. And if we skip ahead, it goes out. And this happens simply because we, we used... Oh yeah, we have to go to size and position. Because we have access to these things. And they allow to change our position. While we are in the middle here with the curves with the playhead, we can change uh, between this and this, between these two dots where the uh, font will be. We can also change the size, by the way. And if we go to the first frame of this animation, of this clip in the keyframes, we can change where it starts. And instead of from left to right, we can set this back to zero, and maybe set the. Uh, this value to something else. So let's see what happens now. If we play this back, the text comes from the top. And maybe we want to make it disappear instead of uh, to the bottom instead of to the right. Then we're gonna not uh, set this to 920, 1920, but instead we're gonna set this to 1080. Let's try it out. And there we go. And of course you can have both if you want them to disappear di diagonally or something like that. 1920, and we play back. Yep, to the bottom right. And then we can do the same with this thing. We're gonna add some text to this. Text right here. Hope you, hope you enjoy the show. Uh, we're gonna not to play around with the font, this seems a bit broken right now, more than last time I tried it out. 
and we're going to add the size and position filter and this one we're going to play around with. You can only use the simple keyframes right now, but it's already great progress. Uh, what we're going to do is, oof, I don't know, let's change the size. Let's make it 10% uh, of the original. And we're going to set it to, oops, hope that didn't do anything. I keep pressing enter when entering values, and that seems to have some kind of effect. Yeah, okay, yeah, it seems to be working. If we play it back, you can see it just appears there and stretches. Sure, you can do that. But the default transitions will always be at the beginning from left to right, and at the end from uh, right, from center to right. We can make it shrink, for example. Let's set it to, I don't know. Yeah, just the same size. Just delete the last zero and uh, not make it move so much. Wait a second. Oh, it moves up top. Yeah, let's check it out. Let's check out this animation. Curious enough. Yep, sure, why not? So this is how you animate text with shortcut using the new filter keyframe feature. You can do this starting with shortcut 180503. If you have an older version, it will not work, but with uh, this version, it works great. And of course, you can download it for free. There is no watermark. Shortcut is pretty cool. I hope you have fun making your own text effects and moving them around finally using shortcut tools without having to walk around using, for example, the HTML overlay filter and have fun making videos. Please subscribe to support this channel. I'll see you next time. Ciao.